Hi judges, welcome to another segment of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time we were able to discuss the different standard equation of a parabola with vertex at the origin. For today, we will be applying what we have learned from those equations. So we now have here two problems to illustrate uh, the standard equation of a parabola. For number one, find an equation of the parabola with focus at 0, 2, and directrix y is equal to negative 2. So, we are asked to find the standard equation of the parabola with vertex at the origin. So, these are our guide. This will be our guide. If the focus is located at 0 and z, our equation would be x squared is equal to 4cy. But, if our focus is located at c and 0, our equation would be y squared is equal to 4cx. Always remember that if the one having the zero coordinate, that is the one being squared. If x coordinate is equal to zero, therefore our equation is x squared. If the y coordinate is equal to zero, therefore our equation should contain y squared. So let us now first graph this one. So let us first graph the focus is located at zero and two. So the focus is located at 0 and 2, 0. Therefore, the y coordinate is 2. So, this is our focus. And the directrix is located at y is equal to negative 2. 1, 2. This is y. Therefore, the graph of the directrix is horizontal. So, this is our directrix. And that is y is equal to negative 2. This is the value of c. This is the value of c. Therefore, this is 2. This is 2. This is c. This is also C. Therefore, if that is the focus, the vertex is at the origin. The vertex is, as, is at the origin. And the focus is located above the vertex. Therefore, our parabola is opening upward. Our parabola is opening upward. And this is the length of the latus rectum. Again, from the focus to the parabola, that is the length of our latus rectum. And what is the length of the latus rectum? The length of the latus rectum is always equal to 4c. And that is 4 times what is the value of c? 2. So that is 4 times 2. Therefore, the latus rectum is equal to 8 units. So what is now the equation of, a, of the parabola? The equation of the parabola now, because we are given, this is 0 and c. Therefore, our parabola would be x squared is equal to 4cy. Okay, we will not indicate negative because based on our graph, the parabola is opening upward. Therefore, this becomes x squared is equal to 4. What is the value of c? That becomes 2 times y. And our equation now is x squared is equal to 8y. So this is the equation of a parabola opening upward having its focus located at 0 and 2, vertex at the origin, and the directrix is the line y is equal to negative 2. So let's now discuss the second example. For the second example, we need to find again the equation of the parabola with focus at negative 1 and 0, and the directrix is equal to 1. Again, let us first graph or plot the points. So the focus now is located at negative 1 and 0 negative 1 and 0. So, this is negative 1 and 0. So, this is our focus. Okay. This is our vertex. This is our focus. This is our vertex. And where is the directrix? The directrix is the line x is equal to 1. This is x is equal to 1. We are given the value of x. Therefore, the line is vertical. So, this is now the line. So, this is our directrix and that is x is equal to positive 1. The distance from the focus to the vertex is the value of c. And from the vertex to the directrix, the value is also c. So what is our value? Okay, what is our value now for c? So from the vertex going to, to the focus, that is just one unit. From the vertex going to the directrix, that is just one unit. Therefore, c is equal to 1. Okay, since our parabola is how is containing these points we have here the focus the vertex and the directrix the focus is located to the left of the vertex therefore if it is to the left of the vertex our parabola is opening to the left because 
always remember that whenever we could find, wherever we could find the focus, that is the opening of the parabola. And it is now opening to the left. And if it is opening to the left, therefore, our parabola is negative. Okay. So based on the formula, f is c0. Okay. Therefore, our equation would be y squared is equal to 4cx. We could say that c is positive 1. But then, our c, da, our c now, indicated from the formula, is negative 1. Okay. So let us write that c is negative 1. Okay, we will only indicate this as negative 1 because of its direction or location. But if we're asked to get the absolute value, the value of C will always be positive 1 because distances are always positive. We only indicated the negative sign because of its direction. Okay, y squared now is equal to 4 times C. What is the value of C? That becomes negative 1 times x. Therefore, y squared is equal to negative 4x. y squared is equal to negative 4x. Why? Because our parabola is opening to the left. Therefore, it is negative. What if we're asked to get the latus rectum? Okay. The latus rectum now is equal to 4 times the absolute value of c. That is 4 times the value of c now is negative 1. Therefore, that becomes negative 1. And what is the absolute value of negative 1? That becomes positive 1. So the, the length of the lattice rectum now is 4 times 1. And 4 times 1 is 4 units. So this is the length of the lattice rectum. And always remember that the length of the lattice rectum is positive because it is considered as distance. Do not be confused that we have indicated here as c is equal to 1 because we are looking for the distance. But if we will be applying or substituting this value to the formula, do not forget to write the sign because it is opening to the left. So that's all for today. And I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something from this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and suggest some questions that I might answer. And let's all keep learning.